I've been in, I've been in camp for the past few weeks, so I've watched him work. Um, looked really, really great in training camp. Um, obviously, he's a better skilled fighter in this fight. I'll point at him. Um, I wanted him to step up and take it to him a little bit because I don't think that the guy he fought tonight was in his class, but he did what he had to do, and he definitely was a smarter fighter, and you could tell. So, looking forward to his next fight. How do you put that in your game when you're, you know, you're making a guy miss and you're making a pace and you're winning the fight easy, but how do you put it all together and going forward? I mean, at that point, you've got to get a little gutty, right? So, you know, you're out putting them, you know, they don't want to class, and that's when you look at your corner and you got to kind of trust in what your corner is. I wanted to, wanted to pick up the combination and, and take it to him because you knew that you could tell that uh, Shakur was a better fighter there. So just sort of stepping up and getting a little gutty and getting a little risky. You know, we just talked to Clarissa Shields and she's saying some of the problems with women's boxing is a two minute round. It's hard to get people out of there when you only have two minutes to the three. Do you agree with that statement? I mean, obviously, if you have more time in a round when someone's hurt, you should be able to. There's definitely been fights where I knew that if I had a, a few extra minutes or a couple more rounds, they would have been finished. Um, just asked this question the other day, and it's like, I'm sort of at the point where um, women, we still have a long way to go when it comes to equality and boxing between men and women, and so I'm not going to push to do more for less, right? I mean, obviously we just saw Clarissa make her MMA debut. Yeah. Um, it seems like, especially in the UFC brand, there seems to be more equality with the women. Why do you think that is, and what do you think needs to change in boxing in order to get that for the women in boxing? Yeah, you know, I... I understand Clarissa's decision to turn over to MMA. I thought about it when I first left the Olympics in 2016 because that's where women were getting the respect, the TV time, the promoters were giving them the money and, and everything. And so, um, you know, I, I don't know. You need the support of the promoters in the United States to pick up these women and start in the, in the networks to put us on um, primetime TV and put us on these major undercards or main cards and next to these great men boxers. So, But the, the talent pool is just way too deep these days. Like, it's going to happen. It's just a matter of time. Um, there's so many great young boxers coming up. And well, you're getting co-feature spots now. I am, so, yes. ESPN. I'm trying to do my job. <laughs> yeah. and, you know, I have a great position. I do have a platform that a lot of women don't have right now in boxing with top rank fighting on ESPN. And so um, that's why I always say I have a duty. You know, I'm, I'm representing women every time I step into that ring, and I just have to keep doing what I can for the sport and paving the way. Obviously, you are with Top Rank. You are uh, here on ESPN. But it seems, uh, obviously, Lou debella has been pushing for a while. Eddie Hearn's done a great job. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, we've had Katie Taylor fight now from 135 to 147. Uh, same with Jessica McCaskill. What are your thoughts on some of these big fights that have been put on, you know, prime time? Eddie Hearn's doing a great job. Boxing's doing great in the U.K. and over on the other side of the pond. But America's always been the challenge. I mean, you have Hollywood here. You have huge stars here. We have we have the Kardashians, and we have this all this competition when it comes to to media. And so I always said the challenge is here in America. Um, I know that Eddie Hearn's doing great, and boxing's doing well over there, but we've got to get boxing over here, and I'm, I'm pushing to get my world title fights to stay over here in America so we can build that audience. Well, obviously you have a very big fight. Uh, just let the fans know, for those who don't know, where they can tune in for your next fight. It's very big. It'll be co-main event. Uh, let the fans know. Yep, I'll be fighting right here next weekend, June 19th. It'll be on ESPN, the, under, the co-main event for In No Way. So next weekend. Thank 19th. you very much, Michaela Mayer.